a dual sport term is more of a marketing description rather than a strict definition of a motorcycle class. However, through the years the lineups of manufacturers have gradually evolved to include models that clearly fall under the dual sport category, being equally comfortable both on dirt and pavement. In this episode we'll explore the best representatives and newcomers from this family of bikes, reviewing the features that make them ideal multi-purpose vehicles, as well as comparing prices and specifications. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell to get alerted about the next episodes, and enjoy the ride! KTM 690 Enduro R Built on the same platform as KTM's one and only Supermoto, the 690 Enduro R is a rather unique offering in the dual sport segment, making more power than traditional models in this class and being capable of taking some thorough off-road beating. In 2019, it comes featuring a number of all-round updates, like new bodywork, electronics and a revised engine. The bike sits on a redesigned trellis frame with a WP Explore suspension, offering almost 10 inches of travel on both ends and rides on heavy-duty off-road wheels, measuring 21 inches up front and 18 in the rear. Brembo brakes are standard on this moto, as are cornering ABS and lean-angle sensitive traction control. The 690 single cylinder now produces 75 horses. It is paired with a ride-by-wire system and a 6-speed gearbox with quick shifter and a slipper clutch. Kawasaki KLX 230 The upcoming 2020 model here marked the arrival of three new Kawasaki models – KLX 230, KLX 230R and KLX 300R. However, out of this trio, only the former one is regarded as a street-legal dual sport. It must be mentioned that this newcomer is not here to replace the fresh KLX 250, but rather to further expand the lineup of the Japanese brand. Unlike its older sibling, it gets a 233cc air-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder engine that has very forgiving throttle response. The mill was tuned for low-end and mid-range performance, which will inevitably result in superior reliability. The suspension travel reaches long 8.8 .8 inches front and back, but the seat height of 34.8 inches is still rather approachable even to the shorter riders. Finally, the screen machine gets an optional ABS with a specific dual sport mode, the first of its kind for Kawasaki. Honda CRF 450L Modified to be legal for riding on the roads, this trail-ready Honda offers superior handling, proven reliability and plenty of power, supplied by the 449cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder Unicam engine. The bike gets only the most basic features, like LED lighting package, mirrors, a small LCD screen with a speedometer and more pavement-friendly tires, but it is still rather stripped down, offering no ABS option or windshield. Introduced for the 2019 model here, the CRF450L managed to earn many favorable reviews from the riders and critics alike. In 2020, it continues with new color scheme to go with the austere bodywork and comes featuring the same twin spar aluminum frame, show a suspension with about a foot of travel, titanium fuel tank and lithium battery, contributing to a low wet weight of 289 pounds. Zero DS Zero motorcycles weren't at all ambiguous when naming this bike. The DS moniker is a clear manifesto of its major purpose – dual sport use. The model was constructed around the city-oriented Zero S, but received a longer, custom-tuned and easily adjustable Showa suspension with 7 inches of plush travel and all-terrain tires. Starting from 2019, the DS gets equipped with the new generation Z-Force electric powertrain that makes 46 horsepower and 78 pound-feet of torque, or 70 horses and 116 pound-feet on the DSR modification. Assuming that this bike will be used only for short city commute and limited weekend off-roading, one can save up money by buying a small 7.2 kWh battery pack good for 53 miles of range. But the ZF 14.4 battery, coupled with a power tank, can extend this distance to 163 miles. By the way, the latest addition to Zero's lineup is the DSR Black Forest, which turned this moto into an adventure tour. Yamaha WR250R The first street legal model within the WR lineup appeared in 2008, and to a greater degree, it has been carried over year after year without major changes, offering true dual sport fun. 
the spike shares its DNA with the purebred YCF motocrosser and the cross-country oriented WR modifications. This Yamaha is built around a 250cc liquid-cooled four-stroke, which, as the name suggested, is coupled with a wide ratio six-speed transmission. Such a tandem results in a great balance between highway riding and off-road performance. The suspension is represented by a 46mm inverted fork and a single rear shock, both fully adjustable and with 10.6 inches travel. Bear in mind that off-pavement prowess of this dual sport comes at a price of the seat height. Towering 36.6 inches above the ground, not that many riders will be able to flat foot. If you're enjoying our format, now is a great time to leave a like. Make sure to watch this episode till the end, where you will find our suggestions of the best motorcycle episodes on the channel. Let's keep going! Husqvarna 701 Enduro LR Apart from the updated 701 Supermoto and the base 701 Enduro, the recent international motorcycle exhibition in Milan brought to us an unexpected reveal the 701 Enduro LR that gets a secondary front fuel tank to help you travel as far as 310 miles between fill-ups. Like the standard 701, the long-range model will arrive with updated electronics, including two switchable riding modes and lean angle traction control. The two-wheeler retains its torquey, 74-horsepower single-cylinder 693cc engine with ride-by-wire throttle. However, the six-speed transmission now features the easy shift function that allows you to shift the gears up and down without using the clutch. For the 2020 model here, each model in the lineup is differentiated by its own graphics and slight revisions to the bodywork. Zero FX The FX is advertised as a bike for riding adventures and carefree everyday living. The latter is ensured by the sealed electric motor with a single moving part and a super-efficient carbon fiber belt drive system. In 2020, this bike is sold in two configurations, the affordable ZF 3.6 and a two grand premium ZF 7.2, which nearly doubles both performance and range figures. The 46 and 91 miles of single charge travel distances in the city are far from ideal, but the battery packs could be easily swapped in a matter of seconds. Plus, at home recharge is also an option. Off the pavement skills of this bike are reflected in the Showa 41mm cartridge forks and 40mm rear shock, both fully adjustable. Plus, it utilizes a Bosch Gen 9 ABS and Pirelli Scorpion MT90 tires. With a price tag of $9,000 for the base trim, this two wheeler is the cheapest electric motorcycle on today's market. Honda XR650L When talking about this legendary Honda bike, we just have to delve into history for a little bit. Introduced more than 25 years ago for the 1993 model year, the XR650L is one of the longest-running production motorcycles that, to date, remains virtually unchanged since its original design. For decades, it has been tried and tested by loyal fans, tackling any and every obstacle they have thrown its way. In 2020, this versatile dual sport still uses its proven but rather ancient 644cc air-cooled single-cylinder four-stroke that makes approximately 40 ponies. Somehow, it still manages to follow modern EPA and carb emission standards and squeezes out around 52 miles per each gallon of fuel. For the rider's convenience, the bike has electric start, is equipped with proper LED lighting and comes passenger ready, thanks to its long MX style seat, additional folding foot packs and a grab strap. Yamaha XT250 Distinguished by reliability, lightweight and good performance, this classic dual sport traces its roots back to 1980s, when it enjoyed immense success among the public and was a staple of back roads and farms. The bike was reintroduced to the US market in 2008 and has been one of the most affordable models in the segment ever since. Powered by a light 249cc four-stroke air-cooled engine with estimated 76 mpg, it will become your trustworthy companion for everyday use. However, it still feels underpowered on the highways, topping at around 75 miles per hour. The XT250 has welcoming seat height of just 31.9 inches, 11.2 inches of clearance, modern fuel injection, and convenient electric start. But the owners do complain about the limited access to accessories and poor suspension performance under heavier loads. Beta RRS 
The upcoming model year is full of big changes for the street legal lineup from Beta, since it is getting a complete frame and engine overhaul. First of all is the 2.2 pounds weight drop of the motor. The clutch and the crankshaft were moved closer to the swing arm for better balance, and the cooling system was improved. Next is the total overhaul of the frame, subframe and bodywork, once again resulting in the lighter bike. The fuel tank has ballooned to 2.4 gallons for longer rides, while wider footbags ensure we have more control and stability during those extended trail days. Finally, the suspension was revised as well, now being represented by lighter adjustable sax forks and rear shock. Did we miss any of the great dual sports on this list? How do you like the newcomers in the class? Share your thoughts below the video. The comment section is still there, you just have to find it. Consider watching other episodes of Automotive Territory by starting with the ones on the screen. Subscribe, like and share to help us grow. And as always, may the torque be with you!